Okay, it is finally time for part two of the I Hate Colin Bridgerton Parade. <laughs> Bridgerton was out um, yesterday. Yesterday, day for yesterday, I remember, but this is the first time I've had a chance to start watching it. I am going to binge the whole thing today, and we're just gonna watch part two and see if I can still manage to hate Colin Bridgerton by the end. Um, he's the hero. I'm rooting for him to change my mind. But again, book Colin is just so horrible. <laughs> so horrible and I just love to hate him. <laughs> Part of the reason I hate Colin Bridgerton is because he's so smarmy and smug and he's definitely that rich boy that I just can't stand. Um, also in the books he kind of only likes um, Penelope after she's lost weight and had a makeover which really just bugs the crap out of me too so those two things alone make me just really dislike him. <laughs> Everything he does I hate. So let's get into the show. <laughs> let's see how much I can continue hating him. <laughs> okay, we're already beginning and Penelope's mother has just found out that they're getting married and then in walks Colin all swagger and everything. It gives her a good set down. I think it was kind of a mediocre set down, but it was straight and to the point. Um, he loves her. I don't feel the love from him yet, but um, obviously they do, you know, they do love each other, but I don't know. Why does Colin Bridgerton feel like he has the most makeup on of everyone in this cast? Even Mrs. Featherington, the mother, feels like he's wearing more makeup than her. Uh, I, I, I don't know, that's so petty. It's so, so, so petty and to complain about, but whatever, uh, we're still getting into this. Wait, 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 wait. They're getting to it in the first, the first episode back? Episode five, they're already getting to it? Why, Penelope, I'm scandalized, I'm scandalized. Honestly, the scene with the mirror, very sweet, very, I, it's such a sweet thing because he wants her to see what he sees. And I, honestly, very, very sweet. Let's get to the steam now. <laughs> okay, that was honestly kind of sweet. That was very sweet. It wasn't over the top. It was adorable. They had a funny moment, laugh at the end. That was cute. <laughs> I sound disappointed, but I wasn't disappointed. <laughs> okay, I think that was a good first one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that was a decent first one. I had to turn it down because my son came out <laughs> right in the middle. So. <laughs> Oh, volume way down <laughs> but it was good it was fine okay moving on things got heated so i had to put my hair up <laughs> okay episode five done man was that dramatic at the end uh i really have no thoughts about the end of that other than okay <laughs> um they're doing a really good job of making me like Lady Cowper or feel bad for her in a lot of ways, but she is the villain. However, I like a good villain. So Lady Cowper has at least always been an interesting villain. So I like her. <laughs> Let's move on to number six. Can we just say Lady Cowper has the shittiest parents of all Bridgerton? Like the shittiest, you know what I mean? How freaking lame. How lame to say that you're, you know your daughter and you know that she's not clever. Bitch, that's so rude. Ugh, ugh. I hate bad parents, I hate them. I got kicked out of the living room. So um, that whole scene with uh, Penelope's mom, of course, of course, she's pushing her daughters so hard to make a match because her match sucked, of course. 
She's always doing it in the wrong way, but it's so aggressive because obviously something terrible happened to her. Like, obviously. And then everything about Benedict, I really couldn't care less about. Um, honestly, I, I don't get this whole relationship with him right now. I know he's just having fun. I don't think it's needed in this season either. Like, we have already so many different storylines going on. I just don't think it's... I don't think it's needed. But anyways. I am really sad right now that um, half of this episode... No. A third of this episode is over and I, I don't hate Colin enough in it. Kind of sad about it. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff going on in this episode, so he's not even there barely, but... We need to get back to the Colin so that way I can continue hating on him. But so far, this this second half, I know we're only like an episode and a third in. Not enough hating Colin. Well, that was so dramatic. But I needed a snack. Okay, that episode over. If Colin Bridgerton can follow you in a very slow moving carriage, you're probably not being as sneaky as you think you are. Just saying. Uh, that episode was good. So far, these two episodes have been more traumatic, a lot more higher stakes than the first half. So I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. A lot of drama. Love the drama. Um, not as much Colin and Penn yet. I mean, it's not like they're not there either. There's just so many other storylines going on. So um, I just hope they're not being overshadowed too much. But time will tell. On to the next episode. I love this conversation with Kate and Anthony. Because she's like, every one of us has secrets. Yeah, Colin. Yeah, Colin. Did you tell Penelope about all the brothels you went to? How many of them? What parts of the country? Where were you? I get it, okay? Penelope wrote some gossip about you. Woohoo. Pretty sure you're still rich and in society, and nothing has happened to your entire family other than a little bit of self loathing. So, get over yourself, Colin. Honestly, get over yourself, please. Ah, how perfect is yellow as the wedding song? That is so perfect. Perfect choice. Absolutely love it. Even Pluto's coming up here to say he loves it too. Okay. It was great. Right? Right, Pluto? It was great. I could literally not care about Benedict any less. Like, just, I don't care. Have, go. Go have, go have your thruple situation. Bye-bye. That's the only storyline that I really don't care about. I love everything else for some reason doesn't do it for me. I Benedict never really has. He's kind of like the level guy, but like, am I itching for his story? Meh, meh. Maybe for Sophia, if Sophia is gonna be his situation in the show, but like, meh, meh, nada. And the wedding happened listen the whole queen thing too is Eloise gonna be the one that takes the hit for this because she's already mad that Cressida tried to take the hit for this I don't know I love the drama of the season I really do love the drama wondering how it's gonna end one more episode let's go get it oh and before we end I'd just like to say still cannot stand Colin's hair Still cannot stand it. Uh, uh. Ugh. Just to throw that in there. I, just to be a petty bitch. Blah. <laughs> you know, even though I really don't care about Benedict and this threesome, it's still a lot better to watch than Colin's threesome. That was just gross. But this one, this one's fine. It's fine. I just don't care. <laughs> I love... I love what Colin is shocked. He couldn't sway Cressida. Shocked. Oh. <laughs> I'm afraid I have failed. Yeah. 
No kidding. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Oh, God. Let me appeal to Cressida's kinder side. She doesn't have one. She doesn't have one. That's why I like her. Okay. She doesn't have one. She's a bitch and she knows it. <laughs> She's going down this ship. Okay. Just another, just another reason Colin's an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did make everything twice as worse. Literally twice as worse. And it's not your fault. It totally is his fault. It is very much his fault. Everyone is over here concerned about on, yeah. the Lady Whistledown scandal. Who is Lady Whistledown? When you have Benedict in a three-way with Lady Tilly, nobody sees that happening? Nobody? Oh, I forgot. Her staff is discreet. None of the staff is discreet, ever. The staff is never discreet. Okay, I'm alive. <laughs> uh, I finished Bridgerton last night, but I just didn't get a check in. Um, last episode, adorable. I don't know what else to say about it. Um, everything was resolved nicely in a little bow um, with some few things thrown in there at the end meant to kind of, I think, shock you. And, um, We'll talk about Penelope and Colin first. Do I still hate Colin after the end of this? Show Colin is definitely better. Show Colin is definitely better. I do not hate him. He's fine. He's fine. He's not my least favorite brother anymore. <laughs> so do I still hate him? No, I don't hate show Colin. Um, but I'm sad about that a little bit, so I'm just gonna hate him anyways. <laughs> I want to talk about the Michael Michaela thing for a little bit. Um, I am not mad at it. <laughs> really not mad at it. In fact, I really don't care. I didn't read that book. Um, but if I did, I am just not a person that needs the show to be exactly as the book. I'm just not that person. I actually really like it when the show is different from the book because it gives me more. It gives me a whole other story to read. Like I could read the book and that's that's that story. And then I could watch a show and that's that story. It's like different ways of finding out what the end is, but it's in the same world. It has the same vibe, it has the same feelings. And I love it. Because when I read one book or watch one show that I really love, I'm usually looking for something similar to that. So I get kind of the same thing, but in the same world. It's kind of like, you know, fan fiction-y, like you see the movie or whatever, and then you could read a bunch of fan fictions with the same world and you get different results for all of those things. And it explores different results for all those things. So no, I do not care. <laughs> if they want to make Michael a woman and have her be with Michaela, which, is supposed to be end game. I haven't read the book, but I do know that. Um, it doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me. However, I will say, I do think it was thrown in there suddenly in a way that's meant to shock the fans. Um, because, and I say that because Benedict, I could see more having a relationship with a man just because they were exploring that with him in this episode. So they were kind of working their way up to that. Francesca, it was just out of the blue almost. So that's all. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care. I will watch that shit. Okay, I will watch that shit because I love historical romance and I love this whole fantasy world that Shonda has created in the show. I think she did a fantastic job. One thing I did not comment on and my battery is going to die really soon is that um the queen only really had one amazing wig. I mean they're all amazing but one shockingly amazing wig. That was the one with like the geode. Was it like a geode thing in there? That was amazing. Okay that was amazing. Overall, I think this whole season 
was on the sweeter side. And because it's a friends to lovers story, I can see why they did that. Um, I think the romance is very straightforward. And so they needed a lot of other storylines thrown in there to make it more interesting. And they did. It was an okay season overall. Uh, I think I'm just going to go one, two, three with my rankings of them. I really love season one because of what it was at the time. You know what I mean? Like, we didn't have any kind of shows like this at all. <laughs> we had drama movies. That's it. So when the series came out originally, I ate it up and I loved it. I do not like that book. Um, Kate and Anthony's love story is my favorite love story, but... Um, I think that I think season one is still my favorite season, um, but very close. I love them all for different reasons, and I'm still highly entertained by all of this. <laughs> so will I watch season four? Hell yes. Do I hope Colin is in it? No. <laughs> I'm good. All right, that's all for me. I need my chai this morning very tired um i'll see you next time bye